Hi there, it's Sam from foodloss.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you very much for joining me during Brights Week. This is my week-long dedication to all of the Brights colours in our collection. So, this project is a great size box. This is a 3x3x2 three by three by inch box, which is 75 x 75 x no, five centimetres, and it is a great box. It ties up at the top, but you can see it's got little sniff holes, and actually this was designed to hold candles or large bars of soap, things like that, but so that you could still smell them without having to destroy the box if you're going to have them at a craft fair. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. This one is done in real red, and I'm going to do a couple of other different brights colours, and I might possibly have used a new punch to go around this, but you'll have to wait till the end of January for that. So... I'm going to put it together now. You need a piece of cardstock that measures 7 by 11 inches, which is 17 and a half by 27 and a half centimetres. I'm going to do a Pacific Point Blue version of this. And I'm using, I love this, the Flowerful Heart. I absolutely adore this stamp. A bit gutted that it is only going to be on um, limited collection, so it's only available till the 27th of January. Um, but I adore it, so do get it while you can. And I've used it so much. And I'm doing the blue version because, you know, I might want to give a present to my husband or you might want to give a gift to a man and he's not going to necessarily want to, going to want pink hearts or red hearts or anything like that. So I'm just randomly stamping all over. And, oh, another one there. Let's maybe go off the edge slightly here. There we go. So randomly stamped all over. Let me just put that where I'm not going to stick my elbow in it. And grab my scoring tool, leaning on my very squeaky chair while I'm there. And the scoring is really, really quite simple. You need the short side at the top first. So the seven inch, the uh, 17 and a half centimetre um, side at the top and you score it at two inches and five inches which is five centimetres or twelve and a half centimetres. And then you turn it round and you score it this time at half an inch, which is down there, two inches, four inches, seven, nine, and ten and a half. And that in metric is one and a half, five, ten, seventeen and a half, 22 and a half and 26. I will put all of the details on my blog for you so you can go and find the measurements again. Don't panic about writing them down. Right, fold your score lines and burnish them. This is just Whisper White cardstock but actually because there's no opening or closing or gluing at the bottom it will hold an awful lot and I don't often use Whisper White for, for boxes just because it is that little bit flimsier um, but like I say because of the way that this is sealing and closing and all the gluing is at the side and at the top it can hold an awful lot one of these days I'm going to get my scales out and actually find what I can hold in a box I did discover once that actually I could hold two huge bags of flour with one box that was quite impressive and it was a very small <clears throat> small excuse me small box as well right okay the bits that we need to remove are these outer corners here so let me tip that so you can see so you've got the with it in the the horizontal fashion the skinny box and the one next to it so there's two going to go there and you do that all the way round So that's those done and then you need to cut up these ones here so again keeping it in the horizontal so you're going to cut either um, on there and just cut a little notch out to help with the clothes and the same there 
and the same on the opposite side. It doesn't matter how much you notch out, this is just to help it close and get that beautiful professional finish. So there we go. And then this will close up like that. And the sides will fold up and these bits will close round. So I'm going to stick it together in a second. Move that out of the way for a minute and get all this rubbish off my desk. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping and this time I've got the Follow My Heart stamp set and it's this one here, this little banner shaped stamp. And there might possibly be a punch coming soon. Am I giving enough hints today? <laughs> there might be a punch that's coming to match that very soon. So I'm going to grab my, um, I was going to call it Bermuda Bay, what's it called? Pacific Point ink. And because I can't show you the punch, I'm going to hand cut it. Aren't I wicked? So I'm going to hand cut this one. I can't show you anything in action. Um, that isn't yet available so like I say I'm just going to hand cut this one there we go a little bit there and then grab my paper piercer punch it. I'm not going to punch a hole at all I'm going to pierce a hole and just wiggle it to make it a bit bigger and then I've got my Whisper White Baker's Twine. Let's put that needle back in before I stick that in my hand. Whisper White Baker's Twine. And just feed it through. Try and feed it through. Let's make that neater. Oh. <laughs> just bunched that. Let's try that again. I need one of those needle threader thingies. I don't know what they're called. They probably are called needle threader. Right. A third time lucky. Yay! Got it. There we go. So, that's that bit done. Right, let's build this box up. I need some, you could use liquid glue, you could use um, snail or anything like that, or sticky strip. I'm just going to use snail for speed. And it's these flaps here, which I suppose actually if you turned it over, it would be those ones. I'm just going to fold them in. And I'm only using the snail for speed. And you just fold it round and line it up. And you make sure you're lined up there and at the top. Same there. And there and there. And that's the box base done. And then this section here, just grab a hole punch, which I had to hand just now. Grab a hole punch. Punch a couple of holes. And you do need to pinch them together, so obviously, so you know you've got it all lined up perfectly. There we go. And I'm using pumpkin pie. I'm using it because it's a kind of a manly colour. And also because I confess this is the last project I, I've made for Brights Week. And I, this is the only colour I haven't used. And one of my downline Elaine's tells me that pumpkin pie and Pacific Point work very well together. So I'm going to trust her with this one. Actually, you know what? It's not bad. I didn't make a sample of this colourway before, um, before filming. Oh, hang on a second. I need to put a double knot in that because I want to loop that tag through. There we go. Right. And then this one, it just says kiss, hug, kiss, hug. The XOXO. And the key, I suppose it's key to my heart, perhaps. Feed one end through.
come off that bit and then I can tie the bow round it, hopefully. There we go, a kind of a bow. Let's make that a bit shorter. And then just trim off the bits. And that is the box made. It's kind of sweet. And that was the original, that was the, the real red version. And this is the Pacific Point Blue with, um, with the fun pumpkin pie, just so I can say I've used it. Um, but it's a lovely size box, great, great size box. Um, but thank you very much for joining me in Envelope Punch Board. No, it's not Envelope Punch Board Week. <laughs> this is the second time I've said that in Bright's Week. Do you know what the number of times I've refilmed this? Go and have a look at Envelope Punch Board Week as well. That's back in November. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me during Bright's Week. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye.